everybody, it's Monkey, and surprise, surprise, I have another fashionista. It took us probably like less than a week to buy another fashionista because we have problems. Um, this is number 78, and I also have this fashion pack because as you know, if you've been watching these fashionista reviews, I rarely like how things start out, and we evolve, and we improve. So. This fashionista, she came out with like, this is number 78, by the way. She came out like the Christmas wave, which as I, by the way, it's April and there's no new fashionistas out yet. And it's very upsetting. Mattel, fashionistas, chop chop, please hurry up. Um, so this is number 78. I really put off buying her because um, I could not stand her outfit. Um, the shorts by themselves are okay. That shirt by themselves is okay. Together, I hate it. I think she's a curvy just by looking at her in the packaging. But I always liked her hair. I loved her makeup. I liked her skin color. I just thought she was such a pretty doll. And every time I saw her, I would get so annoyed because I hated her clothes so much. But I, I decided that I couldn't take it anymore. I liked her, so... I had to get her. That's it. So, I got this fashion pack at Target and it's amazing and I cannot wait. I feel like with that dark makeup she has, these clothes might look really cool. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. So, we're gonna get her open. I think, well, how much are the fashionistas now? Eight dollars? Nine dollars? Or something like that. I got her at Walmart, so she's cheaper at Walmart than other places. Um, I'm not gonna say the name of the other store. R.I.P. Toys R Us. Ah, I just said it. Um, and then the fashion packs. This one gets two outfits, a necklace, and a purse. So two accessories and two full outfits. I think it's like $10. I know I got that one at Target. Maybe. Possibly. I'm pretty sure that one was from Target. So let's get all of this open so we can fix her because I hate I just don't get it. I just don't get it, guys. And then that headband, like, ugh. I just feel like her face, her makeup, her hair, none of that goes with what she is in. And it's bothering me. So let's fix it. Let's let's put her out of her misery, shall we? So I'll be right back. Sorry. I'm back. And just a disclaimer, um, because Cookie and I are so, so on top of things and so put together, uh, we lost our scissors. So... Um, the only pair of scissors is in the room where Cookie is asleep right now, so I am not going to go in there because it's not a good idea. So, um, yeah. So, she has a bunch of little plastic bits connected to her. Everywhere. So, um, I'm very sorry, Barbie, because normally I would cut all these things off and even her, her beautiful new outfit, her new outfit, they have thingies on them. So, um, I'm sorry. Um, I tried to pull as much as I could off with my brute strength, but um, yeah, this is as best as we're gonna do. So we'll get this together, guys. We'll get this just together. So as you know, I am not a fan of this ensemble at all, but let's be positive, let's be positive. Look at that face. She is so pretty. I love this mold. Which mold is this? Let's say it's 2014, I don't know. Um, such a pretty mold. I love that, that medium skin tone they've got going on there. She looks so pretty. I love the dark lipstick. I love the length and the color of this hair. And and for Mattel, because we're being positive and she's coming off this thingy. Um, her hair has no gunk in it. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Maybe Cookie will link the, um, the disaster that happened with another fashionista. I don't remember what number, but her hair was pretty much like they like they did this with the glue. I just just did this. It was rock hard. Um, so I like that about her hair. Oh gosh, I am. So, I haven't done a video in such a long time. I am so so bad at this again. Um, we love fashionistas here. We have a whole playlist here of Barbie. So if you love Barbie, go check out that playlist. I'm sure Cookie will link it down below, and he'll be linking. I'm sure fashionistas up in the whatever corner as we go. One of these corners, this one, or this one. So anyway, this is her. Um, so like I said, we're doing positives. I'm gonna rip out this headband as soon as possible because I hate it. Um, and here's her shirt. It has a really cool, like, almost like a quilted feel to it. Um, but like what I don't like about it, which usually happens when they try to do these things with the fashionistas is like, this part's not like no print or anything. It's just the inside and to me it just looks like not an outfit that someone in the real world would wear and um, I don't like it that much. So I mean the top's okay. Um, I will give them props for, take this off, 
for finishing the print so all the way around with the shorts and the top they're both finished um and I also Yasha needs to always come with one accessory and her headband is her accessory and I'm just not happy like she needs a bracelet or yeah bracelet or earrings <gasps> earrings have been awesome on you um so she doesn't have earrings and she should um the shorts are like this teal color green with flowers on it and like I said before um both of these would be fine with something else and I'm not sure if I have anything that'll work but um we can try we can always try um and then she has just nondescript white sneakers you guys can't see because her background's white there we go Aww. um so I feel like this is gonna be better I feel like this is gonna be better guys oh by the way this is my stand fashionistas don't come with stands and I'm when I have a brush too and fashionistas don't come with those so I have the, the fashion pack open and I'm most excited to see her in her dress and this amazing jacket so I think we'll start with the t-shirt and skirt and I will be right back all right guys I'm back and that that quite frankly was extremely terrible because she had one of those plastic doohickeys right you guys can see kids in that tie high up right here on the top of her head where her headband was and I had to go to the kitchen to get something to rip that out because there's no scissors in here so it took me forever so I came back why Mattel why there's a thing here and then I found one where is it, is it over here or is it over here there's another one on the side of her head somewhere. I can't remember where it was, but um, I still have the ones in the back because I was rushing to finish with you guys to give, come show you guys. But um, here she is in this. And can I just say already the vast, vast improvement this outfit is and that stupid headband out of her head. I'm so excited. Problem though with this, um, I thought all these Barbie packs, if they didn't stay, like which Barbie mold they fit, that it fit all of them. And um, this shirt's really tight on her. Um, so I like the color combination, I like the gray. I love that Barbie has gray now in some of their outfits and black, especially this next outfit, like the black jacket is amazing. Um, so I, I like the co combination, but I'm not sure I like it on her. I might need to try it on a different doll that's not a curvy, which I'm kind of surprised that the, usually it's the opposite, that the fits, fit, the fits, the clothes fit the curvies better because like it's tighter on them, it's more form fitting on them and it looks better to me. Um, but this one is pretty tight. Um, let me show you guys. I don't know if I did anything wrong, but look, it's like barely on her. And then even her skirt, even though the skirt fits pretty good, but it's starting to open. Um, definitely would not, I don't think this outfit's gonna work on a curvy. So um, let's try on the other one. Hopefully it works better. And then I might, I might throw this outfit on some Barbie volunteer back here. Who's volunteering? Anyone? 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 Don't worry, we'll get someone. I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back and I had this fashionista to volunteer for me. She's not a curvy, so I wanted to see how this ensemble fit her. And I'm very confused. I'm very, very confused, Mattel, because, um, I always take them off the stand immediately. Why do I keep them on the stand? I'm just kidding. Um, the shirt fits beautifully on her. Look, it fits perfect, nice and snug. The skirt is gigantic because it also fits the curvies. So I don't understand who this outfit is for because it doesn't, I mean, it would look great on her if it fit her, but it doesn't. Um, so I'm thinking this outfit would have to be taken apart to, um, look good on some on another doll um, because the skirt fits a curvy beautifully and the shirt fits an original I'm assuming a tall and a petite Barbie also beautifully so this outfit I don't think works together because of the form issues or the fit issues um, and as you can see it's all the way tight on her and I can like twist it it's it's too big on her it's a cute outfit but it's too big so um it looks nice um I, I would like it better if it fit her or curvy either one as long as it fits somebody perfectly both the top and the bottom and it does it so um very good try though i like it i like it a lot so let's um let's switch things up here get this dash out of the way oops i need a stand i'll use this hand so i'm just gonna say as i'm getting her ready i know you i'm sure you guys hate this when i do this <gasps> there's a necklace i forgot about the necklace oh my god guys oh my god oh my god oh my god, oh my god. 
Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting such a strong 90s vibe from this outfit. I love it. I love it so much. All right, guys, here she is. Ready? Ready? Oh, God, I'm sure you popped out of the stand. Anyone else have problems with the Kaiser stand and the curvies? Me sad. Stay on right. Oh, oh my gosh, that was so cool how it focused. It was so dramatic. Um, so here she is. I love this outfit. I knew I'd love it with her hair and her makeup. And she looks so happy. Look how much happier she looks, guys. Look at her. Look at her. She looks so cool. There's the necklace the fashion pack came with. And I just, oh, the 90s, it's just, it's so cool right now. I love this dress. It's just a, like a, like a tube dress, there's no velcro, it just slides on her and it slid on her really easy and nice. And I just love this jacket. She, you are staying in this outfit, Missy. You are staying in this outfit. And then I think the shoes actually work with this outfit because it's so 90s. Um, but the sneakers with this dress and jacket and this blingy necklace that work really well. So I'm much happier, guys. Are you guys happier? Say yes, say yes, you're happy. And, and she's like, well, I like the top, but. I, I don't I don't like this bottom. Yes, we'll get you changed back into your actual ensemble that you hang out in. So, um, I will say about the fashionistas, I really like the the dolls, the actual dolls, and the outfits seem to be finally on the improvement. The the fashion packs are really on the improvement. I'm thinking because they can charge more for the fashion packs and it comes with when it doesn't come with the doll. So they put more quality into it, if that makes any sense. So I really love this fashion pack, highly recommend it. I think it has, I love this shirt. I just love this though. I love it, it looks so perfect on her. So I took off that stupid headband. I'm okay, I'm okay, it's in. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Please comment and thumbs up and especially subscribe and go check out all the other Barbie videos. There's tons of them. It's getting ridiculous. I need to record something else. So I'm just gonna know how to record Barbie videos. So um, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. It's perfect. There you go. Bye.